Hello to all my friends out there. So dinner time. I hope everyone is being careful and I hope everyone is okay. So tonight, I came up with a good one, you guys. I had a meal plan and um, one, one meal was going to be chicken. So I made some chicken parmesan. I made. They're really dish cloths, but I'm using them as pot holders, but they're really not pot holders. So here is my chicken. This is good. This is one of my better ones, I must say. Okay, so now, how did I make this? Well, there's two ways to make it. So now let me just drain it for a minute. I mean, this is one chicken breast. I didn't pound it or anything. See? I just cut it in half, you know, to make it thinner. Then I sprinkled it with some garlic salt and black pepper. And then I, I put it on a plate and I sprinkled it with uh, just plain old flour. And then I, I took one egg and I beat it and I put half on one side. I turned it and I put half on the other side, flour and then egg. And then I sprinkled a lot of Parmesan cheese on both sides. And then I sprinkled breadcrumbs and I melted some Crisco. And that brings us to this point. Okay, before that, I cooked some rice in some chicken bouillon. And uh, this is going to taste good with my um, yum. My rice got a little gluey, but that's okay. Still gonna taste good. And then what I want to do is I want to put my chicken on top of my rice. Yummy. So this was another one of my easy dinners. So here you have it, my chicken parmesan on chicken rice. Okay, so now to drink, oh, and I also heated some, I had corn left, so I heated my corn in the microwave, so I'll have some corn. And then I made some black tea. Two-thirds black tea, hot and fairly strong. And then I have some evaporated milk that I just opened. And I'm going to be using this tomorrow to make some yogurt. And I will tell you how I make the yogurt. That's good. Okay, so what? First of all, I will taste my chicken and I will tell you. This is good. Um, I saw at Walmart that they have chicken breasts, Tyson, chicken breasts. I think I'm going to buy those this time. Mmm, yummy. That is so good, you guys. It's a meal in minutes. Okay, now, I bought some nice fruit. I have some mangoes, and I have some strawberries. So tomorrow, I will make some yogurt. And I want to tell you how I make the yogurt. All right, I take a big pot, like for spaghetti, and I heat water to boiling. And then I, I cover it with foil, the boiling water, and I slip it in the oven to create a warm environment. I don't turn the um, oven on. I just slip the water in there and then I take a yogurt, usually vanilla or plain, but any kind you want. 
and I get that to room temperature. Then I take evaporated milk, one of these 12 ounce cans, any kind of milk. And, but with this, it's 12 ounces of milk and 12 ounces of water, and I heat it until it's just barely uh, about to boil. You know, there's bubbles around the edges, and I hold it at that temperature for 30 minutes. Then I cool it to like a warm bath, and then I mix the yogurt up, and I mix it into the milk, and then I put it in usually a glass, um, little glass bowl of some sort, and I cover it with um, foil and I leave it, if I make it at night, I leave it until the next day, or if I make it during the day, I leave it until that night, and then I will refrigerate this fruit, or I could just buy some yogurt and put this cold fruit on top. So that would be a good um, dessert. But if you have milk in your stockpile, then you can just make as much yogurt as you want anytime you want it. So now, no, 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 no. Okay, so you guys saw my car videos. So you might be thinking, well, Rhoda, well, what's with this car stuff? Well, what I'm really doing is in all various ways I'm preparing for a depression. And the reason is, is because I think we're showing every sign of a depression. So what to do during a depression? Control your spending. So like I'm being so incredibly cheap. And what I mainly want to do is keep doing what I've been doing all year because I was able to get through the year without catching the corona. I was able to get outside and exercise a little bit. And I was able to get through the year without losing too much ground financially. But no matter what condition you're in, if you start controlling your spending, that's going to help more than anything. So um, by the end of the week, I will still have 99.9% .9 of my money. Okay, so now one way to control your spending is to get really cheap meals. That's why I've been doing these meal plans. And I will be doing one meal plan for the rest of the year. And then we're going to have 52 meal plans. Okay, so I looked up food for a depression. Chili, that's a good one. You get a pan of chili, you eat the chili until it's gone, you know. Uh, just get a package of chili mix, some hamburgers, some beans, and some tomato sauce or paste. And, you know, that's pretty good chili. Macaroni and cheese, I make it from scratch. You guys have seen me make it a million times. I love it. Soup, stir fries down through the ages. The Vietnamese have gotten through stir fries very easily. They love it. I'll be making a vegetable and meat stir fry maybe tomorrow. Beans and bacon soup. If you're not, if you're new to beans, make your beans in a crock pot and they'll come out perfect every single time. I heard the, um, the sale of crock pots has gone up. Goulash. My mother-in-law used to make goulash, macaroni, and uh, tomato sauce with green peppers and onions once a week faithfully. Stew, beef stew, or hamburger stew, or chicken stew, and then sandwiches. You guys know of my love of sandwiches. And salmon burgers. So that's at least seven. Then find cheap heat and make sure nothing happens to your residents. But if something does happen to your residents, make sure nothing happens to your car. Uh, also reduce the price, uh, reduce the use of gas as much as you possibly can because we're seeing out here inflation on gas. Okay, and then water. You need clean water. Uh, I had a client who was a uh, water purification. I go, well, what kind of water is the best? He said sparklets, Ramona, and Arrowhead. And then one time I took a chemistry class and she said the target water, because when you look on the back, there's that little seal that guarantees you it's safe. So target. Okay. So now signs of a depression. Okay. They're not giving us a $2,000 
Okay, Biden has sworn that if he is, when, when he was campaigning in Georgia, if you want the $2,000, vote for me, and they did. So the day he, he takes office, we're supposed to get $2,000, but before you spend your $2,000, let's stop and think. Sometimes you can't help it. If the bills are due, you gotta pay them. Okay, they're not giving people $2,000 because things are good. They're giving $2,000 because they're not able to work. So we're looking for a stock market crash. We're looking for a decrease in jobs, which is why you need $2,000. The GDP, also I heard uh, Social Security was getting 200 extra dollars. <laughs> Gross domestic product. Uh, I heard something disturbing that uh, some of the Macy's are going out, but I noticed that all of the Macy's, a lot of their stuff seemed like old merchandise, uh, Walmart too, and very little merchandise right before Christmas, which was weird. So gross domestic product, like when I walk, you know, all the stores are empty. Um, I know um, when a hairstylist came to this country and didn't have licenses, good ones have very big clientels at home. So there's where there's a will, there's a way. And also uh, barbers, barbering can get brutal. There's been barber wars. After this, this wouldn't, a barber wouldn't be a good, uh, like I do work as barber, a barber, but not during something like this. That would, I'd say it'd be dangerous. Like, um, I'll tell you a terrible barber story. I can tell you a million of them, but I'll tell you one of the worst. There was this pretty successful barber shop and some barber opened a barber shop very close and cut his price and he was coming out the back door one night and someone dropped a brick on his head and he was killed. So barbers are brutal. Okay, so I got off topic. Decrease in the gross domestic product, real estate crash. So when we start seeing these things, by then it's too late. Widening gap between the rich and the poor. The rich are getting rich, 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 and the poor are getting poor, poor, poor. That's not good. Okay. No. This is this chicken's good, you guys. Okay, no. Another good one is cottage cheese and fruit, like um, pineapple or apples. I peel the apples and cut them up in little pieces with cottage cheese. Okay, now this is another thing we're watching out for. The ends justify the means. That means, yeah, it's horrific, but it's all justifiable because the end is worth it. Order out of chaos. Disrupting the status quo. We're just gonna tear this whole country up and put it back together. Okay, now. Seth was an Egyptian god of war, chaos, storms, and violence. In the Bible, the red horse in, in, um, in Revelations was bloodshed and peace from the earth. And another thing it was said is when the peace was taken off the earth, the people literally wanted to kill each other. So you get out there in a peaceful protest but maybe someone else out there wants to kill people okay so now let's just look at seth god of storms disorder so along came a uh, destruction of crops hail and locusts so that is not good and then uh one that i'm watching for raw the sun god, darkness fell on the earth, unexplained darkness for three days. But that's not really the darkness I'm expecting. I'm expecting more like power outages, like they had in uh, Pakistan. That was a real bad power outage that they had in Pakistan. And they also had, and I keep forgetting where the other one was. I have such a bad, I have a micro memory. The other one was really bad. I forgot again. I can't believe it. 
but I'm watching for uh, power outages. So, you guys, this is a cheap dinner made in minutes. Please like, comment, and God bless you all.